If you guys at home want to know how to draw an octopus like this guy here, stick around because I'll be showing you how. Let's go. I've got some time on my hands today. Let's make it happen. Okay, with the octopus, we're going to start with two basic shapes this time because it's got a frontal face. So, for that, we're going to do a rectangle coming down. Keep your pencil super loose here because um, there's going to be a little cool shapes we can add as we go through. So, this will be the front of the octopus's face. If I just put a line straight down the center so that divides the square now into two sections section one and section two here. And where we put the little lines that are section off, that's where we're going to keep our eyes. The cool thing with an octopus and the eyes is how it has this sort of encavement where it can be like really pushed back into the skull. And by that I mean this. So here we put the circle and now we're going to do an ellipse. So let me just do a bit darker so you can see fully on the camera. Put a bit more light on for you guys. So we put a circle in here. And we want to give it the effect that's pushed into the skull. So from this point, we're going to eclipse round again. What you could do from here now is shade that inwards. And it creates this effect that's in the embedded into the head. For the octopus eye as well. Actually, let's, let's slow it down a little bit. Maybe we're going a bit too far ahead. We'll, draw, we'll hit the other eye first, which you would just be able to barely see because it'd be covered by the, by the sides of the face. So once again, another circle here. And because it's further back, this is going to rest up. So we'll just give a little top, a little top bit here by doing this little rectangle at the top. Like so. But at the bottom, we can close it again. Just by putting a line in and shading that downwards. Just to show you how, how that's done. Like so. Now we've got that in place. Next, we're going to push push this up and square it off with the initial shape we put in place, just like so, and bring that in a tiny bit, coming up to that first center line, and basically going to build on this rectangle. So the whole time we're working now, this rectangle is just something we're building on. For this, the nose is going to come out, so from this place in the middle of the face, just gonna bring it in and that will lead to the center like so, back in. So it comes out and back in. Um, this doesn't really exist, it's more of a, a style choice, but from here, I'm just gonna draw a line that's gonna connect this side of the head to the body, like so. And as you start the build, you'll have something that looks similar to this. Now around the eye, I'm going to add some more of these boomerang shapes. So there's like boomerang one, this will just give it the illusion of a fold across the face too. And what exists on the octopus at the back is this tentacle thing that sort of comes out. It's keeping your pencil loose, I'm going to do a tube shape. You can have this going any way you want, you can have it coming out front or to the side. From this side actually I mirror that, so another tube shape. And then you see the inside of the tube, like so. So that's one, and this is the second tube, so you see the inside there. And here we want to do it so it's coming out of the back of the skull, so I'm just going to shade it in dark to give that illusion look. And then some more folds, some more boomerangs at the top to give it like a crease, um, crease over the whole thing. Now from the head here, we want this coming back behind the head, so I'm just going to square it off. And now this is where the second shape comes in place, which is the back of the head, which I'm going to draw in now. And that's just going to be this circle, but it's not a complete circle, it's like squashed a bit. So here, just roughly put it in place, like that for now. That's just a rough indication of what I want to build on. Um, so yeah, you want to put an initial shape and then build on top of that. For this, I'm going to just divide that down with a downward shade, so a bit of line in the shade downwards. And that will be the initial start, or building blocks, will I say, that now we can start adding way more detail on top. So then I'm just going to set the line off. And now it's onto the cool bit of the octopus, which is the tentacles. And for this, you want to keep the pencil super loose and just do an initial line. 
So just this for now. Let's say we do it like that for now. There's number one. The first one that you really want to put in place is going to be the one that comes at the forefront, the forefront here. Because this is going to be the one closest to the viewer and it won't be blocking the others. And we'll have that coming like so. You don't have to follow this at all. You can have the tentacles going wherever you want. This is just literally I'm letting the pencil do the work. And these will be the two tentacles in the foreground. And for that, I'm going to come down. And you've got to remember it's going to have lots of twists. So here I'm coming down. Following the initial line, I'm going to turn it around. So if you can imagine, now the underbelly of the tentacle is showing. Like so. And then it's going to come back around here. So that's why you need the first initial line to build upon. And now we just follow that around like so. And then you can have a twist again. So you just come over that line. And then come back around like this. And curl off at the end. Um, for the underbelly of the, I'm going to keep this really square just to keep it really graffiti like. For the underbelly, you just want to do small circles with smaller circles inside. And again, we'll keep going throughout until you finally find a place where you're happy with it. Remember, keeping it loose for now, I'm not committing to anything. I'm just seeing what shapes I can build up and go from there. Um, same again, the same process goes for the other tentacle. I'm coming out with this one. And then we're going to come around again. So, like so. This time I might have it facing the front of the audience. Like so. And then I'll just stick to that original shape. And here I'm just doing small notches and then coming down and getting bigger as I'm coming around. And then I'm going to give it the small circles again, just like we did for this one. Thickening up certain areas you want to thick up, and then just keep building up the process like that. And with the tentacles, this process is just repeated. Um, throughout, but like I said, where you want to keep the actual tentacles is up to you. Let's so come down like so. And yeah, just give you guys an indication of what I mean. So here, another tentacle. I'm just going to have it coming around, but way more looser now. And it's the same. Just thicken it up now, starting off here. But then you want to turn over the original line. Like so. Come back around. Just like that. And then finish it off. And again with the circles, one circle here, two circle here. And it's normally when I get to the third tentacle, I'm going to start bringing it back in towards the face. Like that, that'd be a bit of shading. And then I can start adding a few more detail bits around the eyes. Just to give it more of an indication of what's going on. If you want to add some cool, cool fun elements to this, you can. If you watch the live series, I drew an octopus. I think that's what the person wanted to see was um, from that. I just draw like a straw from the mouth. And then you can just draw some things like bubbles per se. Just sort of making it a bit more fun, it's under underwater, it adds an underwater element. And then it's just the process of adding more tentacles from there. If you wanted uh, to make it really characteristic, you could start adding human elements too. Um, like put some glasses on him per se, put like a hat on to a point. And yeah. Here I might do some tiger stripes on the back of the head. And then just make some cool, cool um, tentacles coming off. So here's another one, same process. Once again, come on the background, 
Got one, two, three here. So you might think, okay, it looks a little bit empty around here. So I might have one coming actually over the front of the body. The body, sorry, the head and coming back down. And this is just using two lines next to each other and building up. Once you learn to do one tender core, it's just a re uh, repeat process. So here will be underneath. Um, I don't like that shape there, so change it. Just come down. Maybe have it around here some more. And then here you might want to add another one in the background. Give it a little speech bubble, maybe. Um, just like so. And now this is the perfect time once you once you've got the initial shape in place, is you can start adding adding little bits, little bits of detail you want to keep or things you want to get rid of. Um, here around the eye, I want a bit, I want a bit more emphasis around the eye, so I'm going to do so. Let it build itself up. Put more of a shape around. Coming down. Maybe do some like stripes around, and then some some water textures coming around the octopus. I think would be cool. Maybe some wave effects coming off. To me, it's kind of looking like um like a tattoo design more than anything. You can see this like tattooed on something. And um yeah, that's it, guys. If you want that, let's just add some more elements. I feel like it's a bit a little bit too plain right now. So. Here by just adjusting this, you can do it holding like, holding anything you want. You can have you holding you can be holding a roller, let's say. A paint roller. Like that. Um, you could do a paintbrush in this one, it could be like an artistic octopus. And that's where a cool story element comes into place when you're doing character design. Is you just start letting your imagination go and then you just keep uh, going with the flow basically. Ten in the background. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe the seventh is also gonna be in the background, you have to worry too much about that, but let's just do another one. I feel like here is a bit of an empty space and then you can have it sort of coming around. Just like so. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, that is the basics of the octopus. Um, and all you want to do if you've been watching the channel is you know what's coming next, is grab yourself a pencil and you want to pick out all the detail bits you want to keep and don't pay any dark tones anything you want to get rid of. So anything you want to adjust now is the perfect time to do so. I'm fairly happy with this. I'm going to put a lot of more of like textured on the octopus, like some more stripes in the back, some more stripes on the front to give it more of a unique look. But apart from that, guys, that is the basics of how you at home can draw an octopus. Um, we'll go around the whole thing now with the pencil and speak to you guys at the end. And then you just want to add a few little dots here and there, add a bit of movement to the whole image. And if you've been following things correctly, you should end up with something that looks similar to this little guy here. Which I think looks really cool, really illustrated, looks like something you might find in a postcard, or even you might even find as a tattoo, like a tattoo design. Um, 
And yeah guys, that is how you draw an octopus at home. Before I tune out today, as always, thank you to everyone on the Patreon. You guys are making it possible to do these daily videos. We're going hard at the moment, so a massive thank you to you all. Appreciate the love. And everyone on the comments and view these and share, it means a lot to me um, to spread this free content. Um, hope you guys are doing well and um, keep creating. Until next time, peace.